Hello and welcome to this presentation on the online postgraduate certificate and diploma in clinical exercise. My name is Kushla Ford and I coordinate these programs. Today I'm going to speak to you about the certificate and the diploma, um, how they differ, the online nature and generally go through the most commonly asked questions with regards to this course. So why clinical exercise? Why study this area? We developed this course in 2014 uh, because there was just ever-growing evidence base and increasing literature supporting exercise as a treatment and prevention tool for several clinical populations. We felt that there was an implementation gap between the research and clinical practitioners on the ground and we wanted to help bridge that. Clinicians were crying out for more information on how to apply this research to their practices for patient health. So the certificate was developed and a number of years later we developed that into a diploma. We know that exercise is an appropriate treatment tool for many chronic non-communicable diseases. In recent years it's become evident that it's also effective as a treatment tool for those who have chronic communicable diseases and now there is ample evidence to support exercise in for patient populations with mental and cognitive health conditions. So there's growing evidence and there's also growing need uh, for treatments such as exercise prescription to benefit patient health. So at the core of the development of this course was the belief that we can benefit patient health by implementing exercise, effective and safe exercise prescription and teaching clinical practitioners to do that. We also note that it can be very difficult to prescribe exercise for patients who have complex clinical presentations, multimorbidity, comorbidities, and we try to disentangle uh, those scenarios in order to benefit patient health. I often get asked who's eligible to apply. The course was developed with healthcare practitioners in mind, those who are dealing with patients on the ward, in a clinic, in some scenario or other. Uh, we generally have applicants from doctors, nurses, GPs in particular, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, pharmacists, dietitians, nutritionalists, uh, so a wide range of healthcare professionals. And I think that's one of the strengths of this course because a lot of peer engagement and interactive peer learning happens when you understand the different perspectives of healthcare professionals in re as it relates to clinical exercise. We do ask applicants to have a level 8 honours degree, but we understand that clinical qualifications differ across Europe and across the world, and we will take that and your clinical experience into account when you apply. If you have a level 8 degree, we do ask that you upload your academic transcripts, and that means a copy of the grades you got as you went through your uh, higher level career. We also ask for an academic reference and we'll accept a clinical reference if you want to provide one of those as well. And finally, we ask that our students have a certain proficiency in English and you can find out more about that on the Trinity website by going to the postgraduate page. Another question is whether this is the course for you. And I'd reiterate the foundation of the course being a one which was developed to benefit patient health. So if you feel like you could benefit your patient's health with effective and safe exercise prescription, if it's something you feel you could implement into your practice or you have an interest in, then this is a good fit for you. The certificate in clinical exercise is delivered completely online and it's a very effective format. We've had consistent positive feedback about the online delivery. There are seven elements released each teaching week. So an introduction, prepare, study, apply, reflect, recall, extend, and a live webinar. There's no need to worry about the details of what's in each of these components. Suffice to say that the regular nature of each week means that students quickly gain confidence in what's expected of them in each of these teaching weeks and can go through the steps to achieve their learning goals uh, for each task. Um, the first six steps are asynchronous, that is to say, there's pre-recorded and it's material that you can engage with in your own time during the week, but the final element is live. So each teaching week, an academic, me or several others um, across the university and further afield will engage with you and discuss the topic at hand, 
um, troubleshoot any issues that might be occurring and actually get to know each other. And this is where the, the multidisciplinary element of the course really shines. It's unusual to say, perhaps, but I have not met many of my students face to face and other academics who teach on this course will say the same, but we do get to know each other. And that's from the live interaction we have each week. The platform is also quite user friendly. And if you don't have um, technical prowess or you're not confident, don't worry, because we have people from every background um, technologically coming to our course and we've had nobody with difficulty yet. <laughs> Uh, so what's the difference between the certificate and the diploma? Well, the certificate has a 30 credits waiting, whereas the diploma is 60. That's the European credit transfer system. So essentially, the diploma is approximately double the work of the certificate. The certificate has four modules and the diploma has the same four modules plus an additional three. The certificate can be completed one year, whereas the diploma can be completed in one year full time or two years part time. So the diploma may require uh, a hiatus from work to concentrate on it if you wanted to do it full time. The certificate is fully online. Now, the diploma is majority online, but we would ask that you'd come to Dublin, to Trinity or in our exercise performance laboratory for a minimum of three days during a certain period of the calendar year to um, attend seminars, practice your skills and be assessed in competencies related to clinical exercise. So that's maybe the biggest difference between the certificate and the diploma. We would like to see you in our lab, uh, engaging with the various assessments and treatments and seeing that you're competent in them firsthand. And this can be done over the course of, as I said, a minimum of three days. Some more detail on the modules. Uh, the first module is the cardiovascular and respiratory system, and it includes your online orientation. The second is physical activity and exercise. The third is exercise in the prevention and treatment of disease. And the fourth is exercise prescription in clinical populations. Those four modules make up the certificate. Going on then to people who would like to complete the diploma, there is an additional three modules. Each are weighted with 10 credits. There's advancements in clinical exercise, and that includes research methods, some statistics, and you're required to complete a literature review in an area of interest to you. And there are several one-to-one -one, uh, meetings with your academic to guide you through that process. The exercise and metabolism is the second last module. And finally, practical applications of clinical exercise. And that is the module that encompasses the practical seminars and the face-to-face -face assessment. What our students say um, about our course? Well, as I mentioned, this has been running since 2014. And students report that it's progressed their career, given them the confidence in exercise prescription that they felt they lacked before, benefited their patient health. And that's the one we were really hoping to achieve. Um, for some, it's been a path towards research in the area. They've realized they really do want to find out more themselves and have, have gone on to do further research. It diversifies their practice and treatment options. And um, there's been consistently positive feedback about the online nature and delivery of the course. So that's very reassuring. We've also had some students who've completed the certificate and wanted to go on afterwards and complete the diploma. And that is possible. Uh, so that is a, a different path that some may want to take. If you want to find out more um, and apply, you can contact me if you like on c.ford at tcd.ie. And I'm a modest user of Twitter. You can find me at Kushla Ford. Um, and there's also the Trinity website. And um, you can Google Clinical Exercise Trinity College Dublin. And I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. But as I said, if you have more questions, do feel free to email. Um, and please stay active. Thank you for listening. And I hope that if you have an interest in this course, you'll reach out to us and we can begin our journey towards benefiting patient health in a safe and effective manner with exercise prescription. Mm -hmm.